Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Made Me Do It. It's time to knock out another week of planning in my Hobonichi weeks. I'm just giving you a glimpse here at the cover I've been using recently. It is made by Lorite on Etsy. I'll try to link that shop in the description below. Really, really enjoying it so far. I'll try to film a little more thorough review on it before too long. But it is in the brownie leather with a natural leather pocket on the front. Just going in and taking a peek at my monthly calendar to see if there are any appointments that need to be moved over to this week. And this is a quick glimpse at last week's spread. I did film uh, last week's spread, but with all of the hustle and trying to get things done before the Christmas holiday, I ended up not having enough time to go back and edit and post it. So it was a fairly simple spread. It was definitely more about um, getting things done last week in time and not necessarily uh, habit tracking or things like that. It's gonna be a similar situation this week, actually. I'm going in with a different pen this week this is a Sailor fountain pen that I recently purchased from a vintage pen shop online. I used my Hobonichi pen again last week, which y'all know by now is definitely a favorite of mine, but occasionally I like to switch it up, so I decided to use fountain pen this week, and so far I'm really liking this Sailor pen. It is my first Sailor brand fountain pen to try and I have it inked up with a brown ink um, cannot remember the name of it right now but I will try to link it in the description box below if that's something that you're interested in so after jotting down the projected weather for the week I'm going in here with my projected meal plan and I decided this week to use an all caps handwriting or font, whatever you want to call it. I don't do that often because you wouldn't think it would make much of a difference, but for some reason it does take me a little bit longer to write in all caps compared to just jotting down in my kind of um, print cursive combo that I commonly use. But I do love the way that an all cap spread looks at the end of the week. It just, to me, has a very nice and clean look. And so that's why I decided to give it a try this week. So after jotting down the projected weather and the weekly meal plan, I'm hopping over to the right side of the spread to knock out a weekly to-do list or <clears throat> excuse me, the start of a weekly to-do list. It will be added to throughout the week. I was worried that if I went directly to the left side of the left page of the spread immediately, that I might end up smearing some of the things that I had just written. So that is one consideration that you have to take into account if you decide to use fountain pens instead of the Hobonichi pen it does take fountain pen ink longer to dry on the Tomoe River paper. So you do have to be a little more cautious, especially if you're moving in and out throughout the week, making additions or changes. Um, when I do use fountain pen ink, I normally keep a little blotter page tucked into that spread. And that way, if you do have to go in throughout the week and make additions or add new notes if you need to immediately close the book back you can just keep that little blotter page in between the spread and it decreases the chance of smearing if you don't have dedicated blotter paper you can use like old school um, construction paper works really well because it's kind of um, porous and soft and it kind of absorbs the excess ink if there is any still sitting on the page. So this week is going to be another busy week in terms of just trying to get some things done and knocked out before the end of the calendar year. So I'm going to leave a lot of extra space on the page for that list to grow. I'm not doing any habit trackers this week. 
So after finishing up the start of that list, I'm hopping back over here to the left side of the spread and just adding any tasks or appointments that I already know are day specific. In here, I just went and placed the uh, pencil board directly over that column on the right side just for the same reason to kind of decrease the chance of my hand smearing some of the stuff that I just wrote. This is New Year's Eve and New Year's Day uh, week. So, Happy New Year's, everybody. <laughs> I'm looking forward to 2020. One of the things on my to-do list for this week is to get all of my 2020 lineup prepped in terms of planners, journals, etc. I just added a little dollar sign and circled it on this Friday because it will be a payday. And then here I decided to go in and add a little saying for the right side of the spread. I had initially started writing it directly on the page, but within just a few words into the saying, I made a mistake. And so I decided to cover that with correction tape and then just write the saying on a little separate piece of paper and glue it down on top of the page. It ended up working out fine. And I like the way that looks sometimes when you have extra layers on your page. It kind of gives the spread a little dimension. It makes it look a little nicer even though you're not doing a ton of deco. So I switched up this saying that I found on Google just a tiny bit. The original saying said I was going to quit all my bad habits for the new year. But then I remembered that nobody likes a quitter. <laughs> which was cute, <laughs> but I decided to switch it up for mine and say I was going to quit all my bad habits for the new year, but then I remembered that I'm not a quitter. <laughs> and there was no one um, on the image that I found on Google to credit that quote to. So I'm just going in here with my Tim Holtz scissors and chopping this off so it doesn't take up quite as much room on the right side of the spread. And then I went in with my We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile Corner Rounder and just rounded the corners on the bottom of the little note page so it would match the way the paper looks at the top of the page. And then the adhesive that I'm using to glue it into the book is made by Art Glitter. It's designer adhesive, dries clear, permanent, water-based, non-toxic, dries acid-free. And what I really like about this adhesive is the tip. It has a little metal tip that is super, super fine. So you can see um, I was able to get in between those little punched areas at the top of the paper with a little adhesive. And you can see the correction tape that I had previously laid down. I'm just making sure it's covered up when I lay this down. And I just go in on top with the pencil board to give it a good pressing down, making sure that it's fully adhered to the page. And just a couple more additions is all of the deco that I'm doing this week. Um, here I'm taking a strip of washi that has what looks to be like wax seals on it. And I'm just going in with a smaller set of my Tim Holtz scissors and cutting out one of those wax seals. Just fussy cutting right along the edge so it looks a little more realistic like an actual wax seal. I would love to use actual wax seals on these spreads, but then you would have the bulk between the pages that would make everything, I think, a mess to write on. So I tend to use them more in my commonplace books or other journals, not necessarily in my actual planner. So now we have a little faux wax seal on that page and then on the left side of the spread I decided to go in with some Tim Holtz washi 
It has kind of a vintage vibe and the same neutral color spread and just lay it down on the left side of the page. I really like these uh, Tim Holtz washies because they also coordinate with his paper packs. So I actually have the papers that kind of match, match that washi. And that is a little glimpse of the week. I hope y'all are having a great week. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see y'all soon. Happy New Year's. Bye-bye.